yeah, she now rockin' with Mr. Wit. A little flavor from Q Beats, you know that this a hit. Michael Jackson bad, yeah, this is it. A few months ago, I was about to call it quits. Until I came across personalized math tutoring. FBT, the number one solution. So what you waiting on? Everything is online. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Wit with Fort Bend Tutoring, and today's lesson is about the power rule. Yeah, calculus. All right, so here the power rule I have before you. So in order to find the first derivative, your f prime of x will be equal to your original terms exponent n times your variable raised to that original exponent minus 1. That's it. It's pretty easy. I like the power rule. Okay, so let's look at a few examples, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check it out. In problem number one, we have y equals to 3x to the fifth power. Notice that we have a coefficient of 3. When finding your derivative, that coefficient that you start off in your original problem will remain there, okay? So it will just multiply times your, the result of the derivative that you're finding when using the power rule. So for now, I'm just going to bring down that coefficient of 3. Then, using the power rule, the 5 comes down and multiplies with that initial coefficient of 3, and I'll end up with x to the 5 minus 1, which gives me a result of 15x to the 4th power. All right. So what happened here? We had an initial coefficient of 3. When using the power rule, that exponent 5 comes down in front and multiplies with that existing coefficient, whatever it may be. Then you'll always subtract 1 from that initial exponent's value. In this case, it was 5. So I'll have 5 minus 1 will leave me with an exponent of 4. And multiplying 3 times 5, I end up with 15. And that's the answer. That's it. Yeah. Let's look at another problem. Problem number two. In problem number two, we have y equals to negative 14x to the negative 6 power. So when finding the derivative of this problem, our y prime, or our first derivative, will always equal to our coefficient of negative 14 times the result of us using the power rule. So we'll bring down that negative 6, that's that exponent that we originally started out with, times our variable raised to the negative 6 minus 1. Okay, so the result of this is going to be y prime equals to a positive 84 x to the negative 7th power. Then, in order to get rid of that negative exponent, you'll rewrite it as 84 divided by x to the 7th power, and this will be your answer. That's it. Done and done. So my first step was to bring down my coefficient negative 14. Then when applying the power rule to that, my exponent of negative 6 comes down and multiplies with that coefficient times my variable raised to the original exponent minus 1. When multiplying this together, the product of negative 14 and negative 6 gives me 84. And when combining negative 6 and negative 1, I end up with x to the negative 7th power. And in order to make sure that you're not writing your answer with a negative exponent, that base of x comes into the denominator, which will change your sign on your exponent and make it a positive. So your answer is 84x to the seventh power, and that's problem number two. All right, let's see what happens with problem number three. In problem number three, we have f of x equals to x squared over 6. Well, some of you may see this as a rational expression or a rational function here. But you can rewrite this so that you'll have it in the familiar format. You could rewrite this as f of x equals to 1 6 x squared. So since I've rewritten our problem by factoring out that 1 6 that I had there, I'm able to rewrite it and get it into familiar form. From there, in order to find the derivative, the first derivative of our function, we're going to multiply 1 6 times the result of using the power rule. So using the power rule here, I'm going to bring down that value of 2, and then my variable, and then of course the exponent minus 1. Multiplying this out, you'll end up with 1 third, after simplifying the 2 and the 6 gives you a 3 here, so you'll end up with 1 third x to the first power. So, I'll just simply write my answer as 1 third x. And that's it. That's the answer. All right, so let's recap over this problem. First thing I did was with our x squared over 6, I recognized that I could factor out or rewrite our expression in the form of 1 6 x squared. 
Using the power rule, I multiply that coefficient of 1 6 times that original exponent of 2 times the variable raised to the original exponent of 2 minus 1. You're always subtracting 1 from your original exponent in your result. So this gives me 1 3rd after simplifying x to the first power, which can be simply be written as 1 3rd x. And done. That was problem number 3. All right. Let's look at problem number 4. Okay. In problem number 4, we have here f of x equals to 7 over x to the 8th power. In this problem here, it wouldn't benefit me to rewrite this by taking that coefficient of 7 out. What I really want to do is I can rewrite this by using a negative exponent on my variable. So I'm going to bring this base of x to the numerator. So I'm going to rewrite this as f of x equals to 7x to the negative 8th power. Notice that I still have f of x here because I'm just simply rewriting this. I haven't taken the derivative of our original function yet. So I'm simply rewriting this in a more familiar format so that I can use the power rule. Now taking the derivative, I'll say that f prime of x will equal to that original coefficient of 7 times that exponent of negative 8 times my variable raised to the negative 8 minus 1. Remember, you're always subtracting your original exponent minus 1. Then, simplifying this further, I'll end up with 7 times negative 8, which is negative 56. And then my variable of x will be raised to the negative 9th power. I don't want to leave my answer with a negative exponent. So what I'll do next is I'll have this f prime of x equal to negative 56 x to the 9th power. And that's my answer. All right, Mr. Witt, red box in it. Okay, so that's going to do it for the power rule, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And as always, please subscribe, rate, comment, like our Facebook page. And if you're able, please donate. We'll have a link in the description box. Peace. So what you waiting on? Everything is online. Just hit the website. They even got FaceTime. Subscribe to the YouTube. Request the video. Watch your math skills go from all right to incredible. They got math, got algebra, got geometry. Recal calculus. Can't forget trigonometry.